All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about three comic books that have absolutely tanked. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about three comic books that have not gone in the right direction. Before we do that, though, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you're feeling like it, join a channel membership below by hitting the join button. So a lot of comic books that have gone up over the last year in terms of value, 2021 saw probably the biggest increase in comic books in history. And a lot of these books we're, we're gonna be talking about today are some of the books that went up last year. Well, right now they're on the wrong side of the trend here. And these three books have absolutely tanked. Let's go and talk about the very first book up here. We have Amazing Spider-Man number 361, the first appearance of Carnage. Now, Venom Let the Recarnage, the second movie in the film franchise, came out in 2021 after a bunch of delays, of course, and uh, Carnage was played by one of the best actors in Hollywood, at least in my opinion, uh, Woody Harrelson. He absolutely is a great actor, and it got a lot of people excited, and we saw CGC uh, 9.8 newsstands of ASM 361 selling for as high as $2,000 in June 2021, and that book has gone down a bunch since then. Uh, on February 11th, 2022, so just about a couple days ago, a 9.8 newsstand of ASM 361 sold for $775. That's over a $1,200 decrease in that book. So that is a bunch of money that if you bought that book at the $2,000, you're probably kicking yourself right now. So again, the very first book up that I want to talk about is that is tanked here uh, is ASM 361. Before we get into the rest of the list, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, MySlabs.com. Tired of paying 10%, 15% or more to sell your cards, comics, and digital collectibles? How does 1% sound? Too good to be true? Well, not anymore. MySlabs.com is the web's premier user-driven marketplace for buying and selling slabbed cards, sealed wax, and now slab comics and digital collectibles. So the next time you're forced to pay 10% or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com and join the 1% revolution. All right, thank you again to MySlabs.com for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out the website for all of their graded sports cards and comics, and the best part is their 1% seller's fees. Let's go ahead and get back to the list here at number two. The second book that is tanked here over the last uh, couple months or so is TMNT Adventures number one, the first comic book appearance of Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang. We also get the we also get the uh, first appearance of the multicolored bandanas, which is a very big deal. Uh, this book kind of launched along with the TV show, and if you read any of these books, um, you know that it's definitely kind of a kid's book, but it was one of a couple of Team and T books that really skyrocketed in 2021 between issues number one and number two of Team and T, The Last Ronin. Obviously, we're talking about Team and T Adventures number one here, but also Raphael number one, the first appearance of Casey Jones, and obviously T, Team and T number one, every single one of those prints. Uh, this book last year was selling as high as $4,000 in March 2021, for a CGC 9.8 newsstand, and that book has gone down a ton. In January 2022, a CGC 9.8 newsstand sold for as little as $1,500. If you do the math there, that is a decrease of $2,500. So again here, if you bought this book at the highest, you're probably upset with, upset with yourself, and honestly, I think a lot of these Team and Tiki's are gonna continue to go down because Team and T, the last road in number one, sorry, number five, is finally coming out in April, 2022. It's the final chapter in the five issue uh, mini series. And I think, like I said, a lot of these Team and T keys are only gonna go down as a lot of the enthusiasm for the turtles uh, and IDW and all of that is only gonna just keep going down as the series ends. And the third book up I wanna talk about that is tanked here in, in 2022 so far is Truth, Red, White, and Black, number one, the first appearance of Isaiah Bradley, Captain America. He first gained his um, uh, popularity in the Falcon and Winter uh, Soldier TV show, and uh, he had his first run in 2003, and 
When the show came out, obviously everyone is rushing out to their stores to try to get one of these. If they already have one graded, they're putting it up on eBay. In 2021, like I said, caused the biggest increase in comic books. We saw CGC 9.8 selling for $900. And recently, Comic Tom had to, actually had this book on his list because that book has gone down a bunch, but everyone is buying it at the low price. Right now, 9.8s are going for $230 which is a great price if you are in a buyer's market. If you're one of those sellers though, you're probably wishing you would have sold it a year ago. So again here, the third book up that is tanked here is Truth, Red, White, and Black, number one, the first appearance of Isaiah Bradley, Captain America. Though I do think if you're gonna be buying any of these books, that is probably the best book to buy because there's a lot of spec value with that. You never know what they're gonna do going forward in MCU. They could go back and do, you know, like a prequel for that character. You never know. We already know, we already see, we've already seen Carnage, uh, in the Venom series, and like I said, Team and T, The Last Ronin is issue, uh, issue 5 is coming out in April, and all of that enthusiasm is only going to be going down. So again, my name is Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my video today. What do you think about these books? Did you buy any of these? All of that and more. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, go Cats, Cowabunga, and it's morphin' time.